Hey guys, welcome back to Express Gaming, your place to get all your gaming news and reviews. In this video, I'm going to be talking about a Nintendo Direct leak that has happened. Don't know if it's true or not, but I'm going to be talking about it. But hey, if you enjoy this video, please leave a like and subscribe and push your notification bell so you're always notified whenever I upload. I upload here Monday through Friday at 3 p.m., at least until the end of January, and then after that, dude, probably the same thing, though, dude. Maybe one last video a week, but whatever. Uh, let's get into the video. Okay, guys, so there's a leak that's come out, dude, claiming that there's going to be a direct on January 11th, which is like five days away. It's less than a week away, if it's true, but I think it's true, probably not. Probably not going to be true. Especially if, basically, probably not everything that's in here. Uh, let's get into it. First thing that says it's going to be in this direct is a... It's going to reveal the Switch Pro. Which it could happen. It definitely possibly could. But hey, let's talk about it. Okay. Uh, they said that it's going to have... It's going to have 4K support, Pro Joy-Cons, and an HD screen with a price of $400. Which isn't horrible. 400 bucks ain't that bad, especially for the Switch, I guess. I mean, the original Switch is 300 bucks, but that was pretty much released like three years ago. I know the price of that could be going on, but 400 bucks again, not horrible. And then it's like says it's gonna be releasing April 23rd. Again, this is just a leak. And then that there are some games that they're claiming that it's gonna be also announced here, including Mario Kart 9, Splatoon 3, Super Mario Odyssey 2, Metroid Resurgence. And then it says it's all planned for 21. Okay, all five, four, five of those, four of those games, dude. I don't think, even if they were to announce all of them, not all of them are coming out this year. So, who knows? The, the direct could happen. They could announce these games, but they're probably not coming out this year. I mean, they could. They could. Because, like, back in 2017, we had, like... A new Mario Kart. We had a Mario Kart game coming out, even though it was a port. We had a new Mario. Uh, we had Mario Odyssey. We had Splatoon Two. We even have Legend of Zelda, though, dude. And like, and uh, uh, Metroid is not as popular as Zelda, but still, Zelda's probably coming out next year, hopefully. So with that, there, it's probably not true. If they do announce all that stuff, not all these games are coming out next year. At least this is what I think it would be awesome if all these games come out, came out next year. Yes. Get a new Metroid, Metroid game, a new Mario game, a new Splatoon, a new Mario Kart. Yeah. Uh, then it says uh, Breath of the Wild 2 might get their name revealed. Probably definitely could happen, especially what I think is probably going to come out this year. Um. Okay, and then we're gonna. This says we're gonna be getting that some more talk about like Kingdom Hearts, Destiny's Embrace. I mean, not new, but like they're gonna reveal that. Then Bayonetta three, which we haven't gotten any information from since the beginning of the Switch came out, which was like almost four years ago now. And then there's gonna be a premium of edition of GTA five. Uh. Uh. All sense are okay. I don't know. The premium edition. That could be nice. That could be nice getting GTA. Don't think that's going to happen. Um, then there's things that only be releasing on the Switch Pro such as Final Fantasy VII Remake, that will make Grade 5, and Black Ops Cold War. Here's the thing. I don't think they should... If they do make like, the Switch Pro, they should not have only... They should not have Switch Pro exclusive games. And what this is saying to do that, there's going to be Switch Pro exclusives like Final Fantasy VII Remake. Devil May Cry 5 and Black Ops Cold War. Still don't think, think they should do that though. Do that there just wouldn't it would split their player base, dude. It would split it up. Most of the bottom of Leaf Legends are Echoes of the Past. Huh. Oh. Then it says uh the sequel's name is probably gonna be Legend of Zelda Echoes of the Past. Which isn't a bad name actually though, dude. What do you guys think about that name that they're saying that Breath of the Wild 2's name is going to be Echoes of the Past? Could be a cool... Could be cool. Um, again, I don't 
thing. Again, I do not think all of these games are going to be coming out this year if they are announced. Especially those four games right there. Uh, Mario Odyssey 2, Splatoon 3, uh, uh, Metroid Resurgence, and then like Mario Kart 9. Most of those could come out, but I don't think we're getting a new Metroid game this year. And I don't think we're getting a new Splatoon this year. We could. Uh, but still. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe and push the notification bell so you're always notified whenever I upload. I upload here Monday through Friday at 3 p.m. And push the subscribe button and push the notification bell so you're always notified whenever I upload. Also, follow my Twitter and follow my second channel, EG Plays. The link to that will be in the end card right here. But hey, bye.